Hello again and welcome to my log cabin here in Devon, in England, uh, beautiful Devon in the United Kingdom. Thank you for joining me again if you've been with me before and uh, here comes your psychic reading for the week commencing Saturday the 20th of April 2019 for seven days. That's this Saturday the 20th of April for seven days and uh, what I'd like to do as always if you've been with me before is choose a pack of these cards. This is one set of tarot cards divided into four groups. Group one, two, three and four. Now I'd like you to choose a group from those four. You can pick something that feels nice or one you like the look of or whatever comes into your mind. Pick a number one to four and if you want to Run the video on to when, we, when I get to your number. If you, if you want number four, you may have a wait a while. So run the video on. So if you've chosen your pack, we'll start by looking at number one. This is for Saturday, for seven days. That's the 20th of April. And we'll give these a bit short. Special hello to those of you who are alone, who are watching alone or are lonely at the moment. Nice to see you. I'm always here for you, God willing. So, we are looking at Saturday onwards, officialdom, maybe accountants, solicitors, people, not officialdom, that's the wrong word, people who are experts in their field. A lot of you are like this, a lot of you will be finding that you're being sought after, or you may be seeking out people that are like this. And um, this is usually to do well, mostly to do with your work, your career, and the way you earn your living. So you may be seeking out advice from someone, or you may be giving advice if you're in that kind of profession. It's a person who knows, if it's you, knows what they're doing, and uh, has studied for many years to get to where you are today. And if you're seeking out that kind of person, then they will have studied for many years to get to where they are today. And they're very respected, very good at what they do. People look for them when they need advice, when they're, sometimes when they're in trouble. There are lots of messages about children in the reading today, babies, births, pregnancies, that sort of thing. Next week you may hear about this from friends, from family, from relatives. Somebody may be expecting a baby. Somebody may be actually giving birth in the next week. Uh, nice time of year for that. There's some good stuff in the following week. There are signs that some of you are overdoing it, as we get quite often in these readings. So the message is don't do too much, don't put too much stress on yourself when it comes to work. This is work when you're actually out at work and work when you're at home and maybe taking on too much or trying to help too many people at once. Some of you have neighbours who need help this week or friends and family that will be calling upon you, please help them, but don't overdo it to make yourself too stressed and maybe overdone or over, overwound up. In other words, take it easy. Help people, but look after yourself as well. There's a major arcana card here. <coughs> well, there's a couple actually. This one shows me that you're strong, most of you, this week, the following week, from Saturday onwards. You're feeling strong. Some of you are, do, are doing the keep fit thing, maybe going to the gym, maybe lifting weights. But it's a, a week, week when you need strength and you'll find strength inside from within. You have it inside you. If you haven't been feeling too well lately, you should feel that your strength is returning this week. And it's a good week for that kind of thing. There are lots of girls around you who are, have these qualities as well. Lots of you, I should say, have girls around you with these strong qualities. And they are people you can rely on, people you can trust to be strong for you when you need them. Some of you are not taking notice of things that you need to be taking notice of. So if things need your attention, don't ignore them. I often say that in these readings, but it is true. You may be, things may be staring at you right in the face and you're just not seeing them. Your answers are right by you. Don't look somewhere else. The answers to your questions this week coming are right in front of your nose. So don't turn a blind eye to things and see things clearly, especially around your earthly life, the way you earn your living. Try to get a clear picture of what's going on, especially if you're at work and things seem a little bit hidden or not deceived, but hidden away from you. 
There is good news about your career. Those of you who have applied for jobs, it's a great week for that, especially if you're applying for work abroad, away from this country, which is, of course, the United Kingdom, or away from your own country where you may be watching this from. Some of you will be taking on work that involves going abroad, maybe for the holiday season or something like that. A lot of you, I can see, have had a rough time recently. And uh, it's about time you had some good stuff. And it's coming. Good stuff is coming, as always. I try to be optimistic. There's nothing scary or frightening in this particular reading. You do have some lucky numbers, number one, for this week coming up. If you do lotteries or football pools or anything like that, these numbers may seem relevant to you. They may seem strange. But I'll tell you anyway, your first number, lucky number for this week is number one. Then you have number 3 and number 13. These are very important numbers, especially if you're, well, you'll know what they mean, most of you. 24, 28, and 39. They're your lucky numbers, number 1, for this week. If you chose number 1, use those numbers if, you, if you're having a little flutter on the, on the lottery or horses or anything like that. You're not likely to see horses up to 39, but you may do. So it's 1, 3, 13, 24, 28 and 39. There you're looking numbers, number one. It's a good week for messages, good week for messages around your work. It's a good week for applying for new jobs, and it's a good week for applying yourself. Some of you will be going away for a few days. Not surprisingly, it's Easter coming up. There are news, as I said, of babies, births, pregnancies. Great week if you're trying for a baby. This is a good week to do it. Wait till Saturday through seven days. It's all about timing. Ask yourself, where would you like to be in five years' time? I often say this, where would you like to be in five years' time? This is what you need to be looking at. You need to be positive when you wake up in the mornings, especially next week. Things are looking pretty good. The sun will be shining for a lot of you, literally and, of course, metaphorically speaking as well. Good week for official done for people in authority. If you're that sort of person, it should be a good week for you. It's a week when you should be getting back some of the things you've lent out, maybe you've lent some money to somebody or, a, or, a, or some of your record collection. <coughs> Excuse me, it's a good week for getting all that stuff back. Good week for pregnant people, pregnant ladies. Good week for anyone contemplating having babies soon. And it's a good week for those of you who have children already, especially the children who are interested in pets, animals, horses, ponies, that sort of thing. A lot of you have daughters and some sons that are into horses and animals, and it's a good week for you. Look out for good news around your work, and don't overdo it. It looks like you're sleeping okay, because, quite frankly, some of you are doing too much. But generally speaking, next week, number one, is not too bad at all. If you have any questions, think about them, because the answers may lay in the reading I've just done for you. Remember, good week for birth, and that means the birth of new things, not just babies, the birth of a new romance, the birth of a new job, a new project, or a, or a hobby, maybe gardening or something like that. Good week for new starts, good week for work, but don't overdo it. That's it for number one. Please subscribe to my channel. David Charles Psychic is my website, davidcharlespsychic.com. You can join me on there if you like a proper full-length reading on the telephone. You can get me at davidcharlespsychic.com from anywhere in the world. I do readings for people from all over the planet. And please click the bell icon, I think it's above. If you click the little bell icon, you'll get notification every time I release a new video, which should be every single week and sometimes more than that. If you want a psychic reading with me or a tarot reading with me, please follow me and share me with your friends on social media. If you chose number two, this one, is for you. As I said, you may have run it on to this, so a special welcome to those of you who are alone or lonely. You're always very welcome, so is everybody else, of course. If you've seen me before, you'll know that you choose these cards, you can run them on to your next one if you want number four. Just run it on so you don't have to wait too long. Number two. This is for April the 20th for seven days. Saturday for seven days. Parties, celebrations, that's what I'm picking up first of all. Lots of you will be attending celebrations, could be bachelor nights, hen parties, that sort of thing. Could be just birthdays or weddings, a lot of weddings in the air at the moment. 
a lot of weddings in these readings as well. Some of you out there are spiritual. Some of you are guided this week by your guides more noticeably than usual. So don't think that things are always coincidental. Some of you may be psychic and not even realize you've got the ability. Look out for coincidences, things that seem strange. You may think of someone that you haven't seen for many years and suddenly they turn up or they telephone or you meet them on Facebook or something like that. These are not always coincidences. They're not always premonitions either, but sometimes they are meaningful. Look out for deja vu when it feels as though you've been there before. Maybe you have in another lifetime. Main thing, the main thing I always say is look out for your dreams, especially if they're repetitive. Repetitive dreams will reveal secrets about your future. You may have seven or eight out of ten dreams that are psychological. You'll get two or three out of ten that are psychic, especially if you're that way inclined and you have spiritual or psychic ability. Psychic dreams are often repetitive. And if you have the same dream over and over again, that means the spirit world are repeating the dream because you're just not getting it and they keep repeating it until you do. I always say you may realize what the dream means many days later. You may be washing the dishes or cleaning the car. Suddenly the dream meaning will pop into your mind. There could be some confusion for you around your career. Some of you may find that the people around you at work are bickering or arguing and you don't really want to get involved in that. Any confusion at work you'll deal with, it could be confusion about job applications. Make sure you get everything right when you're filling in forms, sign on the dotted line, don't send stuff off that hasn't been signed because you'll just probably receive it back again. Anything like that, forms, filling in forms. A lot of you will be, as almost like the last reading, travelling because of your work, but some of you are up and down the motorways. There may be some disruption, obviously, it's April, this, it's Easter coming up, so expect disruption on the motorways and on the trains, but it may be more than usual this time. So expect, well, leave a bit of extra time as you're traveling up and down the country or further afield. Lots of you will be looked for because of your special skills, especially the psychic ones amongst you. Some of you are psychic, as I said, some of you have healing ability. <coughs> Anything like that will be enhanced for the next week from Saturday onwards. It's a great time for you to practice your healing skills. If you're already employed in that field, which you may be, then you should find that you're busy and very sought after. There may be some pauses for you where things don't seem to be going very quickly, but it's just pauses for growth. They always are. It means things are growing underneath the surface and you're waiting, maybe getting irritated because things don't seem to be going very quickly. But they will. There will be reason to celebrate for you, number two, this week. It may be your own celebration, it may be one that you're invited to, but celebrations are very relevant in this reading. Lots of you have spirit guides around. Most of you have a male spirit guide at the moment that's very dominant for the next week. You'll have many spirit guides, but at the moment, a lot of you will be visited and looked after by a man in spirit who has passed away sometimes before you were even born. So it may not be someone you're quite aware of. You could maybe ask your family who it could be. But there are spirit guides around. Confusion at work, nothing to worry about. You can deal with that. A lot of you are very highly skilled, as I said, and will be sought after you for your skills. Number two, you have some lucky numbers. Got your pen ready? <laughs> number 19 is first. That's a good number for you this week. 22 may seem familiar for you. Maybe someone's birthday or something. 26, 36, 37, and 50. These are your lucky numbers, number two, for the next week. These numbers have been proven to be lucky for you in the coming week. So if you, if you do do the lottery or anything like that, it may be worth trying these numbers out. Not guaranteed, but they're very lucky numbers. So I'll tell you again. 19, 22, 26, 36, 37 and 50. So, celebrations for you this week. You may be offered a job and you're celebrating. You may be asking your lady to marry you and you're celebrating. He may ask you to marry him and you're celebrating. But something like that. You may be invited to parties, lots of partying going on. Don't overdo it with the alcohol or the cigarettes, of course. But enjoy yourself. Enjoy the week. It's optimistic. Things are good. Things are not always at a standstill, even though they may feel as though they are. If you're healing 
or have healing abilities, use it. Help your friends, help your family with your healing, even if they don't believe it. They'll believe it when it works. People never seem to believe things until it works for them. Never mind anyone else in the newspapers or on the television. When it works for them, they will believe you. Expect confusion around your career. Expect a lot of travelling, meeting travellers as well, people that travel. I don't mean gypsies, I mean people that travel. And expect to be sought after for your skills, number two, because you will be. And it will give you pride, it'll give, it's good for your ego, it's good for your self-confidence. Yet again, no disasters predicted number two this week. <clears throat> Thank you for that, for watching that, and uh, please subscribe to my channel. Go to my website, David Charles Psychic, if you'd like a one-to-one a -one reading with me over the telephone from anywhere in the world. And please subscribe and share me with your friends. Let's take a look at number three. If you chose number three, this one is for you, and it's for seven days starting on Saturday, April the 20th, 2019. Wherever you may be in the world, this reading is for you. Thank you for joining me, and a special welcome to you if you're alone, or if you're lonely. I'm always here, God willing. You can always tune in and listen to me rambling on, and giving you your predictions for the next week. And I do monthly ones as well, which is the one for May is due any time. So please share me with your friends. And number three, this is for you. Now, some of you will be dealing with the legal profession this week, the law and the law of karma. So it's a week when if you've been not very good, if you've been a bit bad or naughty, you may pay for it this week because we all get karma, as I say all the time. None of us are immune. It's not negotiable. And if you've been doing bad things, number three, you'll pay for it next week and you'll pay threefold, which means you'll pay three times over. I'm sure you haven't, but if you have, you'll pay. If you've been good, then you'll be rewarded next week, and you'll be rewarded three times over. I'm sure you've been good. It also means that if people have been naughty or bad to you, they will pay for that. If they've been good to you, they will be rewarded. You should get karma around about twice a year, sometimes more often than that. There is, for you, around you a lady with fair hair coming your way <clears throat> who is very much into this kind of thing it may be you i may be talking to you fair hair that may be out of a bottle it may not be real but she has fair hair this lady has links to water signs the water maybe the coast or river there's also a lady in spirit around a lot of you this is not an old lady it's a young person as I said with the last reading, you'll have spirit guides around you all the time. You're very lucky and you'll have many of them. But some weeks you get some spirit guides that are more uh, relevant than others. And for the next week, a lot of you will be guided by a female in spirit. Some of you will notice this female spirit guide around you because you're quite in tune or intuitive to it. But this, if it is a lady, I think for most of you, it's someone who may have gone a bit too young and passed over to the other side when she was too young and it could be quite sad. A lot of you will be dealing with officialdom as I said maybe the tax man, maybe the law, solicitors if you're driving watch out for speed cameras and police cars and that sort of thing. Officialdom. Unfortunately some of you next week are shown to have a bad imbalance with your yin and yang. Yin and yang are the energies theoretically, that flow through all of us, like when you put a plug on an electrical appliance. Positive and negative energies. If these energies get out of balance, you can feel a bit down or stressed. And it's caused by stress, therefore you get a vicious cycle. Stress causes an imbalance with your yin and yang. That affects your sleeping, your eating, your habits. And that, of course, will give you an imbalance with your yin and yang. And the whole thing is a vicious cycle. You don't need stress this week. You need to rest and if you can get a holiday for April or for any of the days, for Easter I should say, please get a few days off next week or take it easy. There are warnings here, first warnings of today's readings. Sort out your stress levels, your yin and yang, number three, if you chose number three, because they're out of balance. A bit like as I said when your car is tuning, it's popping and spitting, it wants tuning up and so do you. A lot of you have spiritual healing going on this week. 
a lot of you will be healing through friends and through, through spiritual things. A lot of you are very interested in that. That's why you've come, I hope, to watch this reading. This reading. Now, a lot of you, next week, number three, have a secret admirer. And you may not have met them yet, but you're going to, and uh, you'll meet them next week. Somebody quite fancies you, and it may be that you are also a secret admirer of someone you know. There may be someone at work that you've got a bit of a crush on, like a schoolgirl or schoolboy with a crush. Maybe someone you've seen in the local supermarket, on the till. Just examples, but you've got a crush on somebody, some of you, and some of you have admirers that haven't really told you yet. Maybe they know you're not free or you're married. But secret admirers are in this reading. Somebody admires you, somebody quite fancies you. And a lot of you, they admire you for what you're good at, for your skills, for your personality. It's not all about romance, but a lot of it will be, of course. Some of you will be receiving offers from people, romantic offers, and some of you will be making romantic offers. So it's a good week for romance. It's one of the most romantic readings of the three I've done so far. Check out and sort out your yin and yang. Don't be too stressed. And you have some lucky numbers, number three. These numbers for you may be relevant for you. This reading won't apply to everybody. Of course, it's a general reading. Lucky numbers for number three are nine, 10, 31 and 41. These are lucky numbers for you. 42 and 49. Write them down or run the tape back. So remember, look out for spiritualism, a lady around you who is fair, beautiful, attractive, may be relevant and it may be you. I may be talking about you. If it is, it's a good week for you. You're a giver, you're kind, you're caring, you're artistic, and it's a great week. If it's not you, it's someone you're going to meet like that this week. You may know her already. This could be a man with a similar traits, but I think it's a woman in most cases. You will receive an offer of romance in quite a lot of your cases, not everybody. And it may be someone who has admired you for quite some time. A romantic offer is coming. This is a person who is romantic. A person who loves to do things the old-fashioned way. Look out for officialdom, the law, the legal profession, and sort out your yin and yang. It's a spiritual month for some of you. If you're entering into this kind of hobby or looking into spiritual things, it's a great week for you to do so. And you have lots of you secret admirers. Remember, it's a good week. Your lucky numbers, 9, 10, 31, 41, 42, and 49. Thank you for watching this. Please subscribe, number three, and share me with your friends on Facebook and all the other places. Click the bell icon if you'd like to receive notifications when I put these videos out. And if you'd like a psychic reading with me or a tarot reading with me, please go to my website, davidcharlespsychic.com. And uh, thank you for watching this, and we'll move on and put these away. Go on to number four. If you chose number four, you're next. You're up next. This is your time. Number four. I'll give these a shuffle for you. Although they've been shuffled already, of course. This is an old tarot deck. You can probably see that by looking at it. This is one deck of cards split into four. It's not four separate decks. It's an old tarot deck that's been with me many, many, many years and thousands of readings for people from all over the world. It's got its magic inside it. So of all of my decks of tarot here, the, the few I've got with me, I've got many more in the main house. But we're in the log cabin today. It's a sunny day. It's beautiful here in North Devon in England. And thank you for joining me, especially, as I always say, a special hello to those of you who are, who are alone today, or if you're lonely. Special hello to you. Let's take a look at number four. High levels of fertility. There's a few dodgy things, but most of it's okay. Another warning to take it easy, some of you are smoking. Some of you are smoking too much. If you're going to smoke, get the electric ones, because you have warnings here about removing things that are bad for you. Don't eat bacon. Where did I hear that? <laughs> I don't believe it for a minute, but be careful what you're doing, and uh, look after yourself. Don't smoke too much. A lot of you are highly stressed, more than the other three readings, 
and some of you have got dodgy people around this week. So this is not the best of the four readings, but there are good things. Some of you are victims of spitefulness that you are not aware of. Aware of. Somebody is jealous of you. Not all of you, of course, it's a general reading. You'll know if you're subject to this kind of treatment. There may be jealousy around you. There may be people who are spiteful and nasty to you, to your face sometimes. A lot of these will be family members, in-laws, relatives, people that you could do without. There's lots of fertility in this reading, which means not just babies, of course, it means growth, it means things taking off, it means new jobs, new applications, new projects. It means that whatever you touch will grow. If you buy, if you buy a plant from the supermarket, it'll probably come into bloom and flower everywhere. If you have a new romance, then it will grow and bloom like a flower. Lots of you have beauty, I see, especially the ladies. There's beauty in some of these, re in some of this, for some of you. Beauty that comes from within. It's not all outside, external. But a lot of you will be going to beauticians as well. Some of you will be going to health farms this week. Some of you will be keeping fit, starting new diets. If you're going to start a new diet, start it this week, from Saturday onwards. Don't wait for the first of the month, some people do. There's never a good time for dieting. Do it now, if you need to lose weight, a bit like me. Start the diet next week, from Saturday onwards. And I promise you, you'll find it much easier if you do it when I say, because it's about the timing. Look out for dodgy people, especially if you're a woman. There could be, there could be some nasty women around you. Apart from that, the reading actually shows that you'll be rich next week, which means, well, it can mean money. Use the lucky numbers, I'll give you in a minute. But richness is usually, as I often say, richness inside you. So you have to ask yourself the question, what would make you feel rich? And whatever it is, you should get it next week, to a certain extent. I'll give you some lucky numbers, number four. The lucky numbers for you for next week are number 29 and 30. 36, 45, 48 and 49. That's 29, 30, 36, 45, 48, and 49. They're your lucky numbers if you're doing lotteries, football pools, horses, or anything like that. If you're gambling, not that I say you should be gambling. Don't blame me if you lose, but these are lucky numbers. They're worth a go, a little tiny flutter. So, number four. Richness is predicted next week. Richness inside your heart. That's what it means in here. But it can sometimes mean material richness. So buy a scratch card or something. Keep your stress levels down and stop it with the smoking or anything bad that you're doing. Again, like the dieting, next week's a good week to stop that. Look after yourself. Go for a break. Go to the spa, have a massage, get your nails done. Be pampered and spoiled for a while, especially the girls out there. There is growth, there is fertility around you. The men out there will be feeling highly fertile. It's a good time if you're trying for a baby, as I said earlier, for someone else. I think it was number one. Great week for fertility, great week for job applications, a great week for new romances, for new projects, new hobbies. And really, number four, I think it's one of the best weeks you've had for a while because you're going to get some of the stuff you deserve. Well, thank you for watching that. Please subscribe. Click the bell icon if you want um, reminders when I do new videos. If you need a psychic reading with me, please go to David Charles Psychic. Just Google David Charles Psychic and you'll see my website there and I do read for you from anywhere in the world on the telephone. It is on the telephone. You haven't got to travel to England to see me. Thank you for watching. Remember your lucky numbers number four. 29, 30, 36, 45, 48, 49. These are lucky numbers. Thank you all of you for watching this and I'll soon be putting on the psychic reading for May this year, 2019. And uh, I'll see you next week. Take care.